if I had to really fight this game, this is another one of those, like, poorly optimized games where I can't even, like, window it. Warehouse. Warehouse. Oh, that's what I should have called it. Anyway, this was another one of those poorly optimized games where, uh, for some reason when I, like, booted it up, my, like, model, both me and, like, the little tree up there, they were, like, the frame rate of my model tanked just, like, having this game open, just even being in the menu, and I was, like, fighting it for a while, and I was like, what is going on? So I, like, turned all the quality settings down to, like, the lowest it could be, and it was still just, like, a slideshow. Here, I could actually probably, because I figured out what the problem was. Hold on, let me see if I can get it going. So if you put the frame rate up to 60, which it, which it is at default, oh, now it's fine. That was weird. At 60 FPS, unless it didn't apply, which was also an issue I was having, where things just weren't applying, even though I was changing them in the menu. Like, the volume wasn't changing earlier. But, yeah, it's weird. Now it's fine. Do I turn the base if you sing off? Okay, now it's fine. Basically, I had to t tank it down from 60 FPS to 30 FPS, and for some reason, like, no matter what settings I set it to, like, even the lowest settings, my model was, like, a slideshow. And now it's fine, and I don't understand. Anyway, more forklift. So I heard that this game is like very actually very short, so I don't know what we're gonna do if we beat it in, in under two hours. <laughs> we'll see what happens. More forklift, forklift. More forklift, forklift. Your task is to scan the arrived pallets with goods that are in the vans that arrived at the warehouse, as well as those at the acceptance gate. After scanning, you need to place the pallet in one of the ZPH cells, which is indicated after scanning. Your task is to scan the pallet to place them in this... What? Oh, these are different levels. Okay. Oh, okay. We just... We're just in here. Why did this feel exactly... So why is it so loud? Oh my... That's loud. Yeah, that's really fucking loud. Why is that so loud? I had everything turned down. Turning down everything more. I can't control the audio. <laughs> it only controls the audio on the menu, why? Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna... Okay, how do I... I'm gonna turn down my desktop audio, and then turn down the game audio. That's better. What are the controls? That's still very loud on my end, hold on. <laughs> Why is this game so loud? I've lost all ability to control. You can't control the but audio IRL either. It's very realistic simulator. <laughs> hey, Bumbina, how's it going? So, what are these controls? Okay, it uses. It u okay, it uses. What? I can't move. Do I have to. Do I have to Hit the ignition. Start engine is F. Okay. Gotta pay respects to. There you go. And I can't move still. Why? The parking brake is on, of course. Or not? I, I just can't move. I can't move. I can't move. Why can't I move? Uh, move forklift and 
Floor kite is E and Q. Incline is up and down. Can't move. It's a really realistic simulator and you need to be sitting there. Just <laughs> I legitimately can't move at all. Hold on, why? Okay, so that's off. So my I'm on now. Uh, this has the exact same camera controls as the other game. Can I... Man, that's a warehouse, man, if I've ever seen one. Bro, I can't move. Oh no. What's happening? Don't understand. Hold on. I'm gonna start over. Why can't I move? <laughs> We start the engine. Uh, the, park, the handbrake is off. Handbrake is on. Off. And yet I still can't move. Am I missing a control? Check code, right mouse button, parking brake. I don't understand why I can't move. Is this game broken? So the handbrake is off. My speed went to negative one kilometers per hour. I can't, I don't understand why I can't move. Wow, you were right. This game really is short. Yeah. I, what is happening? I can't drive at all. Okay. Is acceptance like accepting that you can't actually drive? Let me try a different level. Okay. I can't drive at all. What is happening? Why? Why can't I move? Alright. Oh! My- Did you get your Farco certification? Yeah. <laughs> why is it so slow? My- Why does it start with like your- Okay. I figured it out. My forks were like clipped into the ground. <laughs> hold on. Let's start at the beginning then. I have to... Oh, I'm fascinated by this. So like... Oh my god. You needed to lift your forks. I mean, that makes sense. Okay, weird. I just would have assumed that my forks were, like, lifted to begin with, but I guess not. Alright. This is the slowest goddamn thing. Why am I- why is this so slow? Oh, and it's, like, really- It's, like, really, uh... Non-reactive. So I'm, at certain angles, my feet just disappear. Oh, it's just because they're... Teleporting. There's no transitional animations between feet positions. I also notice that too when you do this. It just kind of pops over. Alright. On the plus side, like, at least this game has the incline that I was talking about exists. And which does help when you're operating a forklift. That last game didn't. I feel like that was, that would have helped a little bit more 
moving things. Why do these games have such serene music? <laughs> In contrast, in contrast to the activities that we're doing. Are these the pallets I need to move? Oh, hold on. I'm not even close, hold on. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh wait. Package. Number two thousand one hundred sixty. Row five. Level one. Place six. Okay. Or the fuck that is. Oh my god. Okay, wait. So row five. And now I can't even see where it goes. Wait, am I supposed to put it here where the ghost things are? Or am I supposed to put it on the actual shelves? Am I supposed to put it here where the ghost pallets are? Don't understand. Pallets are placed zero of thirty-two. Okay, but there's not thirty-two ghosts pallets here. Am I supposed to put them on the shelves? Hold on. We're gonna look at what the actual mission was. Desk is to scan the arrived pallets with goods that are in the vans that arrived at the warehouse as well as... Have you tried lifting your forks? After scanning, you need to place the pallet in one of the ZPH cells. Which is indicated after scanning. Let's start. Uh... You pull, you pull them up. There you go. Okay. So, I still don't understand. Am I supposed to put them where these ghosts' pallets are? Because that's it's actually kind of unclear. I could see. Uh, row 5, place 11, level 1. There we go. I'm going to try and put this where it says to put them. Like, on the shelves? Row 5, place 11, level 1. Row 5, place 11, level 1. This thing is slow as hell. Row 5, place 11, level 1. 
Has row five, I'm assuming. Level one, place eleven. So is it like from one to eleven going this way? So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. That's poor shelving placement. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'll go here, I guess. Um, I'm like actually hitting the thing. Hold on. Raise my forks. These are also really weird shells for this kind of palette. What is hap- I don't- Yeah, these, like, shelves are really weird for this kind of palette. The fact that they're, like, just inset in the ground- hold on. I'm caught in the... I'm caught in the pallet. Good enough. I can't tell if I did that correctly. <laughs> I wish these... are these not numbered? I don't think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh yeah, it says pallet was placed 0 out of 32. I don't think that's all oh, no, we're sitting over again. I think this I think this is gonna take the whole entire two hours. Alright. So It also doesn't help that I need both hands to control the forklift, but also because it uses WASD and the arrow keys and the mouse. Which doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, I think I have to put the pallets into the ghost locations. And just like completely disregard. Does it have controller support? It does, but I don't feel like it's any... It's probably not any better. Because you have to use the thumbstick and the D-pad and the buttons. I don't think it's going to be any better, <laughs> the way the controls are mapped. Although I, I wish, like, Farklets had, like, a weird drone camera like this. It'd make it so much easier to pick things up.
So let's just put it in one of the ghost locations and see what happens. That looks like very spot on. Does it have to... Why would you... Hmm, okay. Okay. I'm assuming that we have to, like, line it up in that direction, which kind of makes sense, because you're going to be coming at it from this forward angle, but, like, it's going to be so annoying to place these. It's about there, which I think looks all right. So hard to release these for some reason. So the, I think the problem here is so you can lower your, your forks, basically like in reality, you you'd be able to lower your forks to the ground, but like it'd still scrape the ground if your forks were lowered to, like, the, f the lowest resting position. Um, but because they, like, because the physics aren't accurate to, like, real life, it's clipping into the ground. It's, like, clipping into it instead of, like, resting. Because they didn't program the collisions correctly. So I keep getting stuck. If the collisions were better, I feel like this would run a lot, a lot smoother. There we go. No, 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 don't take it with you. That doesn't count, apparently. Does it have to be in a specific place? Or is it just not lined up properly? Is it like a lot more finicky than I would have assumed? Let's move it forward a little bit. No, no, I'm just pushing it. I'm just pushing it. No, pick it up. I'm just pushing it. Are my... Oh, my forks are like... Why? What are my forks doing? I can't pick it up anymore. There we go. Okay, can I scan it? I can't scan it anymore. Balance replaced to zero of 32. Unless that's like, unless that doesn't mean anything. Like, unless that's like the objective marker for like the last thing. Or these aren't even the correct palettes that I need to be using. <laughs> Instructions unclear. Dick caught in fan.
Let's try a different one. Okay. Number 770, row 5, placement 5, level 1. Instructions unclear. Dick now lifted. <laughs> Wait, did the placement of that change, or am I scanning something else? Am I caught on something? Okay, no. It's just the padding on these. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Also, I can't, like, scan them anymore. I, I scan them once and then I just have to remember it. Because it will not tell me where it goes anymore. <laughs> That's good enough. What is happening? Yeah, it's not supposed to... It's lifting me into the air. When I'm trying to go into neutral. It shouldn't be doing that. I don't understand. Maybe I should do a different thing. <laughs> Try a different mission. Scan a pallet and place them in a specified cell. Yeah. That's what I would have assumed that would have been doing. It's still the same objective marker, though, so, like, I'm assuming that that first one is just literally, like, lay out all the pallets, but, like, they're pretty much already all laid out anyway. Yeah, they're, like, laid out like this. I think I was just supposed to do that, but that's boring. <laughs> Alright, I gotta line up with this first one. Why? There we go. Row six, place one, level one. Okay. So we pull back. We raise the forks. There we go. Row six, place one, level run. One, level one. Row six, place one, level one. Okay, it is forward to back. This is the slowest fucking fork we've known to man. So it should just go here. What? Okay. I'm so, oh, I'm so confused. Alright. I th the, for a second I thought they were sideways again. I'm like, how are you supposed to approach it? There's literally no way to approach it that way. Oh, it worked. Pallets placed 1 of 32. I just gotta figure out how to get it out. Just release out of it. Wait, 
Almost got it. Almost got it. There we go. Perfect. It's a little on an angle. See, I don't understand these fucking shelves. Oh, you're supposed to come off them from the side? That's a that's weird. You didn't usually come out of them from the side like that. Okay, I think I think that's the other issue. Hold on, I gotta come at it from a different angle then. Put it in properly. I'm like clipped through it. I don't understand what's going on right now, but. Oh, the physics were not meant for this. Yeah, that's confusing too. I also don't know what's going on here, but. Oh no, please. Okay. They want us to come at it from the long way, that's why. These shelves are still really weird, but... I feel like, I mean, you can come at, it, at this from the long way, but I've never seen someone do that. Does not like it the long way. What is happening? It really does not like it the long way, and I'm like clipping into the actual box at this point. happening. There we go. Perfect. Ish. That's one down. 30 to 31 to go. <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, okay. I have to come at it from the side. Which... Is not how I've ever seen anyone do it. I mean, it's... Yeah. Have you all, I've always seen people come in where... From the side that has, like, the actual, like, rectangle. Not like this. I think that's why I got confused. I have to come in at, like, this. No, not like that. Lower. Lower. Oh, but it's also really weird because, like, at a certain level, it just won't. It's so okay. Yeah, we're we're forklifting sorta. Like, forks keep clipping into the floor. <laughs> More like flork lifts. Uh, other than that, I, mean, I think we also just figured out how we're supposed to be picking these up. Not from the side. Alright, row 8, place 1. Oh, it's just like right here. God, why is this goddamn thing so slow, though? I also like that it has weights as if I could, I don't know, do I have the option to use a different type of forklift? Because there's, like, different weight ratings for these, right? Oh, 
that's a yeah, we gotta raise it a little bit. There. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Also, just looking at the back of this, <laughs> I've like just flashbacks to how fucking heavy this canister thing is on the back. Because they're so heavy. They're like heavy to begin- they're like, pre like pretty decently heavy to begin with even when they're empty. And then when they're full they're just like so fucking heavy. <clears throat> like uh, you have to put them on a- uh, what are those called? Those, like, furniture mover things, like those things that, like a dolly. It's way easier to put on a dolly, but, like, if, if it's at a certain... They're, like, just enough to carry, but, like, you have to use a dolly for it. Otherwise, your arms get really fucking tired. You also have to make sure that it's strapped in on that side, and then also that the gauge is tapped in there, like, properly. If it's, like, not tight on there... It, it just starts leaking gas. <laughs> Row 10, place 1, level 1. These are all level 1 ones, that's nice. Also, where the hell is my workbook going? Down. Forward. Perfect. Like a glove. So you raise it. Oh no, I keep forgetting which way is which with, the, with regards to... Alright, lift it up. There we go. I wanna kind of gently push it further in. There we go. Alright, we got it. Row 10, place 1, level 1. Oh, row 10 is just right here. I like how there's a handbrake as if, like, you're going fast enough to need to stop it That's in some way. As if this thing wasn't, like, the slowest forklift I've ever seen. Okay, that should be good. So we... Now we lower our forks. Oh, no, down. Oh, down. I think I'm free. Oh, smooth. Perfect. It's also w weird. There, there was like a music vol- There's music in the menu, and there was like a music volume thing. Not that the- Not that the menu audio options did anything to affect the actual game. It's almost as if the audio- options on the main menu only affected the main menu and not the game itself because I turned everything down and then when I get, went to the game everything was really fucking loud but it seems like there's no fucking music in this game <laughs> hold on let me find some music music to forklift 2 if I search for music to forklift 2 will, will I find something got a lump janky simulators yeah Hold on. What if I type in music to forklift to into YouTube? <laughs> There's a Shenmue ten hour forklift uh <laughs> sure. This is actually really fitting. I actually like this. Alright. We're gonna go with this. Actually, hold on, let me double check too, because, like, 
Alright, that needs to be on the VOD. Alright, cool. This is weirdly fitting for, like, this level of weird, janky forklift game. Oh. On. Oh, lower. Honestly, I had thought of like trying to play Shamu just up to the part where you get to play on, or you get to use the forklift, and then just have that as a thing during Farcloft week, but that felt like too much work to do. <laughs> it was too much for the bit. Maybe Farcloft week 2 will play Shenmue. <laughs> but just the parts where you do the Farcloft. It's also super a bummer. I was trying, cause uh... In one of the Sega arcade racing games... Um... Ryo's, like, basic vehicle is just his motorcycle, but, like, when he gets, like, a super in that game, um, it just turns into a forklift. But then they added DLC to just drive the forklift, but apparently it's on the console-only version, so I'd have to, like, find a console version of that arc that Sega racing game and get the DLC. There's also too much commitment. So maybe that'll also be on Forklift Week 2. <laughs> I can't... Okay. There we go. And we're free. The weirdest thing about this is, like, I was basically certified on, like, everything but the forklift when I worked at a warehouse. Because you'd be surprised that there are how many things that, like, are basically forklifts but not forklifts. Like, literally, I was about to, like, go into forklift training, and then the pandemic happened, and then I had to quit. <laughs> I had to quit that job <laughs> before I could get Arco certification. And then that's the only thing I regret about leaving that job is not getting forklift certification, at least for the meme. Like, I kind of had some training on forklifts, but I did- I, uh, never got, like, fully certified. What's also weird, um, and I only realized this recently- Where does this go for a second? I only realized this recently, um, there's- There's, like, weird things with certification with, like, regards to, like, being certified for, like, forklifts in general, or just at your job. Um, I think, because I only realized, uh, there was, like, a Tumblr shit post of, like, someone be like, oh yeah, are you forklift certified? And then someone posting their, like, forklift certification, like, their, like, graduation thing, like, that paperwork, and then someone else pointing out that 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 the paperwork that they had was, like, fraudulent. Because, like, I guess in certain states, and I think this is true for my state, because I realized I never got, like, an actual, like, formal certification. I, like, got training, and then they were just like, yeah, you can do- yeah, you can just drive them now. You don't need, like, formal certification in some states, I guess. Like, they train you, for a couple weeks. Oh god. Hold on. I'm gonna raise it higher. Alright. 
they train you for a couple weeks and then they kind of just sign off that you like are certified but it's like very informal oh why is it oh oh i'm stupid I <coughs> oh and i came at this th at the wrong angle i'm so used to coming in at, at this angle where like the, there's the bottom of the palette right there So I got certified on the Narrow Isle Reach Truck, which is basically like a baby forklift. Oh, I did not set that down properly. Hold on, I gotta bring this back out to the main aisle. Yeah, it's like a, it's basically just a shorter forklift, and I'm certified on that. So like, I understand the concept of that, and then I had kind of some general training on just normal forklifts, but I never got Foley's forklift certified. But it's basically the same thing. Yeah, I can pull up a picture of it. Does this actually pause? It doesn't pause at all. <laughs> this, doesn't, this game doesn't pause. This pause menu is effectively nothing. It doesn't stop the game at all. I hope I'm not being timed for this. Uh, let me see if I can find a picture of an arrow out. Yeah, the Dark Souls of Park of Let's see if I can find a narrow aisle reach truck, which is different from a forklift, but it's basically a forklift. Let me see if I can find the exact model as kind of. I think this is the exact model too, hold on. Can I just drag that? Is that a web key? Can I drag that onto the thing? Oh, I can't. Oh, disappeared. Hold on. This must be a web key. No, it's a PNG. That's weird. No, not a new scene. Uh, need a new image source. Uh, where did that save to? What is it called? What did it say that? It's reach operator. Yeah, it's this. Which is basically a, a forklift, but it's like way thinner. It's like forklift slim. And it's basic it's like it basically functions in this in a similar fashion to a forklift. It's just used for thinner aisles. Like if the aisles are much like if they're closer together, that's when you use this thing. And then also for like lighter lighter stuff obviously. But it is pretty much just a forklift. I was trained on that, and then I was trained on, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. And, like, you have to be certified differently on it. The controls are a little... The controls are kind of different, because, like, it's not as much a car. It's almost, it almost feels like a bumper car. It's really weird. But, uh... Yeah, it's a distinction, because you, you also have to get certified, like, separately from that. But it functions in a similar way. Then there's like the much scarier ones. So there's another one that's called the Order Picker. And um, it's basically like a reverse forklift in that it lifts you upwards and then like you pull things off the shelf that way. And actually one of the other games I didn't realize, um, one of the other games I had up for Forklift Week and I will go into that more I guess then, 
Um, one of the other forklift games I have, like, has also both of those as options and vehicles. But, uh, let's stick find an order picker. See, and then this also still looks also like a forklift, sort of, but you're actually, so, back here where the forks are, um, you'd actually put, let me see if I can find a better picture. So you put a pallet down on that thing, or like in that thing, like the forks hooked into the pallet, and then it lifts you upwards. And then you grab things off the shelf. It actually has a power. It's like a reverse forklift. <laughs> So yeah, basically, and also you're like harnessed in, because you can go really high, and um, if you fall, it's not great. I've never fallen off of it before, thankfully, but yeah, you're like harnessed in. And they're like single-use harnesses too, like there's like a, I don't remember, it might be just like a tearaway or something, because I know that like when you're, sp yeah, I know, it's awful. Like. You pretty much can't be afraid of heights to use that thing. But yeah, it basically lifts you up in the air. And they can go pretty high. And like, so it lifts, it's, yeah, it's like a reverse forklift and it just lifts you up there and then you pick, then you grab stuff off the shelves this way. But um, yeah, you can fall, so you got like a harness in there. And I know that, um, there's like a fault in it, so, like, when it, uh, like, if you fall off, it'll, like, catch you, obviously, but, like, you can only use that once. Like, if, if it, uh, has, like, a safety precaution, like, just in case, like, it wears down at all, like, you can only use it once. And then, like, you have to replace it with a new one. Um, funnily enough, uh, where I worked, the worst injury that, um, I think we had was literally like someone, let me throw the whole vehicle out here. <laughs> the worst injury I saw was literally like someone literally finishing it with it. Like they came back down to the ground and then they just stepped weird when they <laughs> stepped off of it and like kind of twisted their ankle a little bit. And that's the worst injury I ever saw with <laughs> this thing. So like nothing ever terrible, just like someone like literally just stepped weird and twisted their ankle. <laughs> like stepping off of it. It's really funny. But uh yeah. And I was sort of so I was sort of fun on that too. And I this one also sucked because um I had to pull heavy you have to pull it's also for pulling heavy shit off the top shelves of higher shelves. So you'd have to like go up there solo. Or um there was like a really like weird thing if there was like a, a box that was so long that you need two people to do it you'd have to literally like get two of them back to back and then like put them on the on the back and then like lower them at the same time <laughs> but uh yeah so basically it's kind of like a reverse forklift and then it lifts you <laughs> Alright, I have to come out these. Yeah, it's weird. I've never seen someone come at a pallet from this angle. It's usually that forward angle, like where the actual rectangles are. It's very strange. But they really want you to do it this way, I guess. These are all like. 
bottom of the bottom shelf of things. No, I need to lift it up. And lift it up. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Why is that all the way over? Oh yeah, because I was like starting with one, rearranging it, and then I like lost my train of thought. We'll do this one, and then we'll get back to that other one. The only other thing that was nice about that job was, um, because I was so active, like, moving boxes and shit, I was, like, at the fittest I was ever in my life. In my life. Although, I also felt like I was the tiredest I ever was in my life. I mean, to, like, lift so much shit every day. What's happening? That is very unstable, okay. It was also really funny, somehow I was just not aware of the meme of being forklift certified until like after I stopped working at that warehouse. So it was funny to be made aware of the meme like that way after the fact. It feels like one of those weird things like the air fryer thing. Like clearly you don't own an air fryer. I don't even see 32 boxes here. Are they gonna like... I guess there's a couple more down there. Are they like elsewhere? I don't even see enough, I don't even see enough box boxes. 32 boxes. funny to see the chain, the lift chain, flipping on this model. I don't know what it is about that that's really, that just is really funny to me. Level 11, 1, 1, okay. Did I come up from the right angle? I did, okay. I don't know why, this music makes me feel... It doesn't make me think of, like, Shenmue or Forklifts. It makes me think of Donkey Kong. Oh, 
I think it's like the percussion in the background. Also, really pad these pillars. What is this warehouse even for? Ooh, level two one. Parks are too high. But, uh, yeah, the level of, okay, I ranked the level of realism slightly above the last game that we played, because the ability to tilt back is, like, very crucial, because you need to, like, hold it closer to your vehicle, otherwise it could, like, bump around like it was doing when we were on ramps in that other game. And it... I'm assuming that they didn't add the one other function that I haven't seen yet in these forklift games. Is you can actually um, spread the forks or like collapse the forks closer together because like certain pallets have like a smaller distance between the gaps. Every action in this game is so slow, I don't get it. I'll just lower these as I'm going. It's gonna take a while. For both of these things. Starting to get to the level two things. Fun. Oh god. So I watched Bullet Train recently, that was a fucking good movie. I like... I like the concept of like, a million Chekhov's guns at once, and then they're them all resolving later. That's basically the entire 
the entire plot is just bad. It's just like a very fun action movie. And I like can't really go into much detail than that. But it's like, yeah, basically like five assassins get onto a bullet train. And there's actually a surprising amount of cameos. Like even though like the movie itself just has also obviously has like a lot of famous actors. Like literally Brad Pitt's like the main character. But there are like some additional ones that I don't want to spoil that I like was actually surprised, like, oh, that's really random and I don't know where. Get, like, a famous actor in literally a couple minutes of this film. <laughs> Although the trailer spoils one of them. Like, 100%, and I'm glad that I just don't, I, that I just forgot about the trailer. Enough to, like, forget that a specific cameo. I don't know if I forked or far enough back. Guess we'll find out. Oh, no, I'm still hooked on. I don't need to pull forward. Guess it's in there. That's the thing that sucks too about like... Like, moving shit. And like, putting shit on shelves. Cause like, sometimes like, you put shit on there and it's like, very loose, but it's also really hard to tell. But then like, the next person comes along. It sucks being the second person to pick something up, because that really relies on the first person doing their job properly. Because, <laughs> like, they might have fucked up the pallet on the way out, and it makes it really unstable. So when you're pulling out, it just fucking collapses. Cause you can't 100% like fuck up these pallets during this process of it. As you can see me doing. <laughs> Even though it's a video game. It's always night crew. <laughs> if it's night crew, if it's if you're day crew, it's always night crew that fucks it up. And if you're night crew, it's always day crew that fucked it up. <laughs> I was day crew, so it was always night crew. Night crew always fucked it up. Level two, place one. Okay. I feel like it's true for any job though, <laughs> regardless of what job it is, that there's two different shifts. If there's a shift change, it's always other shifts. They're always the one to play. <laughs> oh god, I... what is happening? What is happening here? Got really off center. Oh, this is really unstable. We're getting we're getting some immunity jank here. I can't blame Night Crew, so I'm blaming Unity Jank. Oh, it's like really caught there, hold on. More stable now. Go down. 
perfect. Alright, I gotta move on filling this, otherwise it's gonna take forever. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm disappointed, so, I kinda do like jank in video games. I've been playing Ranch Simulator recently, and that's an example of a game with fun jank. Like, uh, your car rolls super easy in that game. But there's literally a dedicated flip your car button, and basically what it does is it reorients your car, it reorients your vehicle to, like, um, be flat with the ground, lifts it three feet in the air, and then just drops it. And it does that no matter what, any, any time you use the flip the car button. It's really stupid. And other, also, if you're playing multiplayer, other people can just do that to you. <laughs> it's really funny, and it's really stupid. And it works most of the time, unless you do it next to a tree, and then sometimes if you do that when you're next to a tree, your car gets stuck in a tree. <laughs> it's really funny. But I gotten really addicted to playing that game, and I'm hoping, I'm, try, I'm hoping to get more people into it. It's on sale now, actually. It's fifteen dollars. I forget how much it is. I think it's like twenty-four, twenty-five dollars, maybe, like normal price. Um, I'm hoping to try and get uh, more VTubers to collab with me in that game. Because there's actually a surprisingly amount, a surprising amount of things to do. Because you can like build a house, and then it's got like kind of modular building stuff. And then like you can raise different kinds of animals and then like not only like sell those the, the byproducts but like use those to make other shit. Like you can make sausages and like cheese and meatballs and stuff. And it's actually a pretty fun game. But there's a really funny level of jank with it where like some things are very realistic and some things are very unrealistic and it's a really fun mixture of those two kinds of things. Like the thing I mentioned a second ago about um, lifting your car three feet in the air and you know, just in order to get it unstuck. It's also funny because like I was raising pigs in that game uh, like for the purpose of like making sausages and uh I didn't realize I was actually in a in a VC call on uh, in a Discord. I was like playing it, and kind of just streaming it to the VC. I didn't realize that when you like quote unquote uh, slaughter a pig, it just explodes into meat chunks. There's like no actual like death animation. It just explodes into meat chunks, and it's really fucking funny. <laughs> Oh man, perfect. I'm getting really smooth with this. And then I promptly tried to put one of the pork chunks into a meat grinder, and I didn't realize that you needed to put a meat a container underneath it, so all the meat just kind of dissolved into the ground. <laughs> I feel like the music audio is a little bit too loud. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. It's also really funny because you can load animals into the back of your vehicle, but um, well you can load like anything into the back of your vehicle, like in the, into the back of your pickup or there's like a smaller car vehicle that you can put in the put stuff in the back. If you put things in the back, um, they're like glued to the back, including animals. So you're doing flips and there's like a pig in your back seat and it is not going anywhere and it's really funny. <laughs> I 
10 out of 10 game. Yeah, it's basically what I've been sucked into is just Ranch Simulator. <laughs> I've just been playing that in my off time. I'm hoping to get, like, collabs going in it. Because then the jank goes off the charts. I should have raised my forks while I was on my way over here. Five million years later. I think the one thing that I don't like about Ranch Simulator though is like, there are designated farm plots and I wish you could just m m put a farm plot anywhere. That would also make things a lot more. <laughs> oh god. No, Unity Jank. Uh oh, it's falling. There we go. Got it. Why is my speed at negative five kilometers per hour? Oh, <laughs> it, it treats reversing as negative speed. <laughs> sure. All right. I wanted to do something to my model. Like I wanted to put like an outfit. I mean, I guess. I wanted to like, I was like, oh, I could add a hard hat to my model, and I'm like, you don't wear hard hats. I mean, I guess you could wear hard hats. It's like not really the, the PPE for operating a forklift. There's there's not really PPE for operating a forklift, I realize. I'm not even halfway done with it. <laughs> I guess a, yeah, I guess a high visibility vest, but like you're usually already wearing that. There's not like Yeah. I guess a high vis vest would be the thing. Like, this guy isn't wearing any protective equipment. Like, literally, like, the safety thing of, like, oh, if your forklift is... Oh my god, I'm gonna get this backwards. See, the problem is... One of those machines I mentioned earlier... Uh... I remember that one of them, one of the safety things is to, I don't remember now. I know that there's like one of the safety tips is like, oh, like roll out of it if it's, if it's collapsing. But I swear that there was another one that was like, uh, the opposite, but I think, <laughs> I think you're supposed to roll out of it. This is why I wasn't forklift <laughs> Maybe I'll look this- maybe I'll look this up after. I'll look this up on the break. 
I swear that like one of the safety tips is like if it's toppling, roll out of it. But then there's like a different situation where you're not, where you don't do that. I guess I don't really think of, like, the uh, high visibility vest, because, like, where I worked, you were always wearing a vest, so. Like, that was literally part of the uniform, so I don't, I, I, don't, I guess I don't really consider it as part of it. I only thought of it because I need one pass by them. Yeah, I guess. wanted to me that they put weights on these things. Like, it, it gives you a weight for the package, but, like, I don't think I have an option to use a different kind of forklift. Because these machines are, like, weight rated, right? So, like, you can only lift objects of a certain there's like an upper limit, obviously, to how much weight these things can lift. And it tell they tell you to like, look at it, it's like, probably somewhere on this thing, there's usually, I mean, probably not even model onto this, but there's like literally a little like, placard that's like, oh, this is, yeah, this is the right place. Yeah, I doubt this game has it. But it's like, it shows the weight of these, uh, these packages as if I have the option to use a different, a different one. If only there was multiplayer so you could lift the forklift. Oh, I do have a multiplayer forklift game lab planned for later on this week. And it's very jank. I'm hoping that it actually even works. Because it was just jank playing it alone. <laughs> there's also apparently, I found, there's like a VR chat world that has like drivable forklifts that has, like, multiplayer. I didn't have that, like, planned. I keep finding more forklift games, <laughs> so there might be a forklift week two next year or something. 12, 1... But yeah, I found one really jank multiplayer forklift game that I'm really excited to play, and I hope that I can get it working. 
at the end of the week. This is 12, 1, level 2, okay. But yeah, I'm actually... <laughs> There's such a wide valley of distance between the quality of these forklift games. Because literally the first one that I tested... Um, was like, really amazing actually. And actually really fun. And then there's these. The ones that I've been playing. And I think it's gonna be really funny at the end, because I, I literally put the best one that I tried at the end. And it's gonna be really funny to see the juxtaposition. But there was another nice one that I saw that I don't own yet. That'll probably be have to be a, a forklift week two thing. And it's also unfortunate because um weirdly there's a lot of... The, basically the spectrum of forklift games is like... These really janky simulators like these. Like this one and the one I played yesterday, forklift load. Or they're just really arcadey. Like they're literally just like really arcadey mobile games. It's really weird. There's like only the one that I found that is like a forklift simulator that's like... Simultaneously a simulator and actually gets a lot of things right and is actually fun. <laughs> oh yeah, well let's, let's trying to see. I guess those those are all warning stickers. I was like wondering if they actually did put the texture of that uh the plate like the weight rating of things. Oh, the weight rating of those forklifts. I forget, it's usually on like the side or the back, I, f I feel like. Somewhere obvious. Because it also depends on if like, someone actually made this forklift model or this is just like a Unity asset, asset somebody is basically flipping. You know, it's been so long, I I forgot that this is, is not music that's in the game, and that this is Shenmue music. Also, where the fuck does this thing go? Oh no. Can I scan this still? There we go, okay. 12, row 12, plays to level 1, okay. I've been listening to this for, yeah, I've been listening to this for so long I didn't realize, I forgot. I legitimately forgot that this was not music from this game, that this is music from Shenmue. <laughs> 12, 2, 1. Also, what's with these connects ass fucking shelving units. I assume they're for like... Am I stuck? Sure I am. There we go. I assume it's either for visibility or to just like Kind of light, lighten up this, uh, this fucking gray ass warehouse. Oh, I got all the ones on this side. Also, I'm halfway done. 
Oh my god. It takes so long to get to the other side of the warehouse. Why is it so slow? Is it supposed to be like... Because it's driving on this pa weird padding? Or things should be overly colorful. Yeah. Speaking of overly colorful, so like, there's been a lot of Power Rangers news recently. And it's interesting because I think f literally for like the first time ever, so in the past they've made like original, original suits for like one-off characters, but this is the first time where they've like, made their own- minus the helmets, because they're using the same helmets from one season. Row 2, one, one This is the first time that they're, like, using original, um, suit designs. And they're like, alright. They could be better. I feel like the Japanese designs are always just gonna be better than any of the American designs. Like, with the exception of the ones where they're, like, the one-off ones where they were just trying to emulate the Japanese style, just to make it feel cohesive. Uh, I feel like they're, they're never going to get to the level of design that the Japanese ones are, because there's like a very specific... I don't know, unless like they have like an artist like really, really sit down and do it. And I feel like they sort of did, but I don't know. The designs are kind of weird for the, for the new American team. But, uh... They made... So it's like a secondary season, so like, they're using characters that were established uh, in the previous season, and continuing with those characters, uh, which I think they generally do sometimes. It's weird, because like... They also have like a lot of footage that they can use from the Japanese footage, because Japanese seasons are usually like 50 episodes-ish, give or take. And, like, American television show seasons are, like, if they're long, they're, like, only at least 26 episodes per season. So that's generally, I feel like it's generally why they, uh... And then even on top of that, sometimes they, like, take two unrelated seasons and then just kind of mash them together as two separate seasons. Anyway, all this to say, they made a beige ranger. Like, the character that was the red ranger is now, like, beige, I guess? And the character that was the pink ranger is now the new red ranger. I don't know how I feel about that. They've had, like, kind of off colors in the past in both the Japanese and the American show. Uh, Hyori Yuju, which I... Dino Charge, I want to say. They had like a, a bunch of like auxiliary uh, colors. And then, um, Q Ranger, which is being semi -adop adapted for this new season. I think they're using like the mech for it, but like they're using their own original designs for the suits. Is that on there? Seems like it's floating. Like, they had, like, Cyan. And also, like, Cyan Rangers are really good. I actually really like Cyan as, like, a Ranger color. It's a really good color for a suit. Um, they've had, like, varying colors of gray. I don't know, beige is new. I don't think I've seen a beige Ranger. They also, I can't remember exactly, but they literally did a bit in one of the, um,
in one of the Japanese seasons where they like did like a flash forward like 10 years. Is there even anything on this palette? This palette is empty. This palette is empty. Do I even need this palette? I don't think I need this palette. But they did like a... <laughs> they almost like parodied themselves in that they like... Added additional colors that like they would have never used on. Oh, let's see if I can look. I'm pausing the game as if that would do anything. But uh... What was it? Oh, instead of blue, it was like, have they branched out from colors like Pokemon did? Well, so like, uh, Kyoryuger had enough, like, extra rangers that they started going, d digging to other colors. Like, they had a violet and a silver. Silver and gold kind of come back every now and again as, like, auxiliary rangers. There's like a weird kind of thing with... I guess sixth rangers, where like, so like, sixth ranger doesn't always mean sixth ranger. <laughs> so like in the original Power Rangers, right? Like you had uh, red, yellow, blue, uh, pink, and black, and then Tommy showed up as the Green Ranger. And so that's like your six rangers. He's like a character that shows up later on, like a bit like uh, about like halfway through the season, and like kind of just changes up the dynamic of the group. Uh, sometimes, like not all teams have had. Some teams have been larger than like six, and then like or smaller. Uh, Hurricane which was Ninja Storm. They had weird colors too. Cause they had like, red, yellow, and blue as the main colors. I forget what colors they added on. They added weird colors on her game. Hold on. Cause one was more of like a wine color ranger. It was weird. What were the other Echo Risers? One was blue and then one was like a more of like a weird like wine colored like not like an off red kind of like a dark red and there's other se then there's other seasons where like they're the additional ranges that show up later and like sometimes they're green sometimes there's a lot of times when they're like gold and silver and then sometimes they're like other weird colors uh there was a season that had like 12 of those space themes that like had to dip into more colors. But yeah, there was one of the dinosaur ones. Here, let me see if I can find. I wonder if there's a picture of all the Kyo Kyo just together. It's almost like a joke of like them running out of colors and so like it was like a hundred year time skip like movie so like the colors were like this <sighs> they were just starting to run out of colors because they like added a bunch then there was like uh Q Ranger had like a huge team. It was like Zodiac themed. I fucking love the Q Ranger suits are kind of, are some of my favorites. That's a Webby. I don't want that. 
Can I get a not web beaver in that? Can I save this as a PNG? Yeah, I think I can save this as a PNG. Because this is a really good pose picture of them. Kind of a small picture, hold on. They have such nice suits. And they were like Zodiac themes, so there was 12 of them. And the sixth ranger was like a, another red ranger. But uh, I think they're probably like my favorite of the suits. Or they weren't like, they weren't a uh, Zodiac exactly, they were like constellations. I also really liked, uh, so the blue one, which, again, love me a cyan ranger. Uh, the blue one, oh, I have to, like, highlight this. Their designs are really good. Uh, like, his helmet is so good. And I like, because he's, like, um... His whole, his whole deal is like, he has like Ursa Major and Ursa Minor form, so like, he's a child, <laughs> but um, when he goes into Ursa Major form, he just becomes gigantic. It's really strong. Uh, let's see if I can get that, find a picture of the helmet. Ah, uh, it's another Wuppy. I need to get a close-up on. All the helmet designs are actually really, really good. Like, the stylization's su super good. That's the only adjective I know. But, uh... That's his helmet. It's really good. Because he's like bear, he's a bear theme, but like his helmet is, it's simultaneously a visor, but it's also like a bear face. It's so good. <laughs> All the helmets are super good in that season. Like they do lean a lot into like the motifs, but I feel like um, those are my favorite helmets. Because they lean into the motifs super well. If I can't move again, my forks, oh, my forks are stuck. Or not. Oh, I can't move. Oh, why does my hand break on? I like how at the start of this... Hey, Memo, how's it going? I like how at the start of this, I was like, this isn't going to take more than... This may not take the whole two hours, but now I'm at like an hour fifty. <laughs> Think I'm lined up? Oh, sort of. There we go. This is row five. Row five, second. Second shelf. All right. I like how we're only using like the first two shelves on each of these.
There we go. <laughs> Now we gently get in there. Am I like not on the back? Am I not on the back? Let's... Oh, I am, okay. I don't understand these shelves. These seem precarious as fuck. Cause it's like only two bars. Like the weight distribution is really weird. Oops. Ah. I like how they put like extra empty pallets here to just to confuse me. <laughs> Row 2, place 2, level 1. A little unstable, but I think we got it. I guess they add the weights for like a level of realism. But it does not affect the game in any way. Like, I would lose nothing from... not having that information. Oh god, oh god. It's like we're- what? It clipped through my forks. <laughs> it, I think the simulation is getting unstable. <laughs> Can I even pick this thing back up? I didn't expect anyone to get this far, yeah. Okay, good, okay. I knocked it into a manageable position. Maybe it's not as manageable position I thought, as I thought it was. Oh, I'm kind of clipped into the side, that's why. I'm also not on my wheels, alright. Oh, how the hell am I supposed to scoop this up? There we go, okay, I got it. I... I think I broke it. I'm, I keep clipping through. I mean, that's an unintended level of realism that I wasn't expecting. Because you can 100% like fuck up a pallet beyond being able to pick it up. Not like this. Wait. I sort of have it clipped into my fork, so I might be able to do this. Take it. It's 
kind of not in there all the way, but I'll take what I can get, because that's starting to get janky. <laughs> Alright, we got 12 more. Some of these, like this one on the end, like, I guess it depends on how heavy it is, but these that doesn't need to be on pallet. Like, genuinely, unless these products needed to be separated from each other, you would, like, consolidate these pallets. Some of these ones just have a single box on them. And even then, if there were like chemicals or something, you wouldn't put them... ...up like this. What is happening? I think genuinely the, uh... Simulation is becoming unstable. Uh, row four, place two, level one. Okay. I'm assuming, because the third, the first level was like placing them here in this, like in that formation. The second one is like putting them all here. I'm assuming the last level was like just pulling them all back off the shelf, but like, I don't think we need to do that. Just watch this VOD in reverse. <laughs> I'm genuinely annoyed that, like, some of these are, like, one case of something. Because these all seem like all the same cases of the same thing. Like, look, you could literally put that one box in with those other three or four. <laughs> oh, one, one, one. Box doesn't like other boxes. Yeah. It's gotta be put in timeout. Man, I remember reading about like one of the other facilities at the company I worked at. It was specifically the one in California because it was like one in like Silicon Valley because they were using it as a testing ground for like new technologies for it and like they were like they like just like a, I don't remember if it was like a video or something that they were showing us it's like oh here's all this cool like tech shit that they're developing out there to make like shit safer that uh you're not you're you're never gonna have. <laughs> So it's like still undeveloped. God. But there was one that was basically an exosuit. It's like, what the fuck? I want an exosuit. Like, it wasn't like that technologically advanced. It was like almost like a. I don't know how you describe it. It was like a thing that you strapped on and then like, it like somehow counterweighted parts of your body or something. It was like almost like, it was almost like connects or something, but like, I don't know how it worked. <laughs> but it was like a thing that would just like literally help you pick up heavy boxes easier. 
but it looked really cool, and I was like, oh man, I want an exosuit to pick up heavy boxes. What is this? Can I just do one, one, one? I swear I just did one, one, one. I would show what it looks like, but I think in the video where they were showing it off. I'm so confused. Didn't I just do 111? Oh, let me put this down real quick. But, like, in the demonstration video of it, like, they're wearing the uniform. <laughs> I swear I just did 111. Isn't that this one? Can I scan this? Can, you, can I scan this one again? Was this 112 and I just wasn't paying attention? Oh, please let me scan it again. through it again. Oh, like, for a second. I can't see because of the bar. That one is 111. Isn't that one 111? I'm so confused. I also don't know how to fix that one. <laughs> happening well I'm gonna leave that there for now so I don't understand I'll leave those two for now, we'll figure it out. I guess I'll just put that... ...wherever there's an empty space. Yeah, two of these are marked the same. Three, one, one. I'm also coming at this at a weird angle. at this at a better angle. Coming at this at a weird angle. At least this has, like, animated wheels. I swear in the last game, they didn't animate the wheels, they just put a motion blur effect on it. Hopefully I don't have to move that one that's in 111 somewhere else. I'm also curious as to whether it actually does matter if I put it in the right position. 
but I can't recall. Hold on. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left, right? That would only be 30. Those only ones don't count, do they? I'm confused. Wait. So there's six there. That would count 37, 31. Oh no, does that one that's glitched out count? <laughs> Did I fuck it up? Hold on. I like... Oh, I got it. Got it. Oh, nice. No, that does count. What is the... Hold on. Can I not see... Will it not tell me where this goes anymore? Okay. See, that's 111. And that one's 111. I'm confused. Also, I didn't realize I could get past that barrier. Thought there was an invisible wall there. I'm surprised there's not actually. This one is one on one. This one. This one is also one on one. What the fuck? Do I just put them on top of each other? <laughs> Have to get out and consolidate it into one. One of these needs. One of these must be one one two. Hold on, let me look at these other ones. Five one one. Two, one, two. One, two, one. Well, that one's one, two, one. No, wait. So I'm looking for one, one, two. Three, two, one. Five, two, one. Oh, I didn't come out at a good angle for this one. Follow me. Go around. Five, two. Wait, were two of these five, two, one also? Or did I just not scan the right one? Okay, I guess we'll figure it out. I think one of these is supposed to be 122 two, or 112 one, and it's just labeled labeled not labeled properly. I'm just making an executive decision to do that. Also, hey, Captain Stone. Let's 
stupid ghost pallets. All right. this on the second, the most intense forklift action, yeah. I'm almost done stock stacking these 32 pallets. On the back? Nowhere close to the back. Can I drive forward a little more? I think I'm at a weird angle. Hold on. Yeah, I think I'm at a weird angle. pushed up against the forks far enough. Maybe if I can just even just do this. Nope. Kind of just push it forward on the wrong. I think that should be good enough. Kind of hard to tell. Right, just back up. All right. I think we can get this. I'm just guessing this goes on the second, second shelf. I don't know. Honestly, for me, I would I would put the these ones up top because like the second one on one seems like. It has more on it, and I'd rather have more accessible ones. There we go. I'd rather have the more accessible ones be at the bottom. Perfect. See, that didn't make the ghost's outline disappear, though, which is concerning. I'll mess with that later. <laughs> Watch this be like the thing that breaks my game. The fact that two of them are labeled the same location. In the mean, I'm, okay, I'm just gonna in the meantime go try to do the other ones. But I swear I'm also just like missing two, one or two or something. Cause those other two pallets are just empty.
Man, 10 hour loop really means 10 hour loop, huh? <laughs> I've never gotten to the Shenmue part of the Shenmue part, the forklift part of Shenmue, honestly. Oh, I came at I came in on this thing weird. Hold on. I don't like them like forks can clip into the floor. Oh, now I've made it in a much weirder angle. That was stupid that so many just just have singular boxes on them. I don't remember what shelf this goes on. Hold on. Five one one. Okay. Sometimes it just disappears. Five one one. Okay. Easy peasy. Yeah, like the ghost outline for that one disappears when I put it in the right position, but I'm confused about that. That like whole whole fact that there's like two of those that are the same entry. Kind of going Calvin Ball now. Just grabbing random ones from, from the back, from the opposite side. Four one two. Four one two. I'm gonna make sure I'm all the way in too. Four one two. Four one two. All right. Already two and a half hours into a stream that I did not think was even gonna make two hours, two hours. Which I'm glad because I genuinely was concerned that this game was gonna be too short because someone on Steam was like, "This game's really short. It's only three levels." But uh, sure is a long level. <laughs> It's also really weird because I guess there's not a control, I guess there's not like a good test of this until I guess now, but I swear that on every single forklift game that I looked at the reviews for, there's at least one person, oh gosh, there's at least one person going, oh hey this is actually a pretty realistic box. Uh -huh. This is a pretty realistic forklift game, but I feel like I've seen that review on all of them, and I'm not sure if it, <laughs> these people have played every forklift game. <laughs> Where's the house? That's we're in it. This is a, such a strange warehouse, honestly. But I guess, maybe I should put, maybe I should actually review all these where, these, uh, not warehouse, these, all these forklift games. Cause I'm in a weird position of, like, knowing enough about how to operate a forklift 
and also playing every fork, trying to play, play like every fork with the game on Steam. To know how good these are. She can't pallet. <laughs> Five, two, one. Like, of the first two, this is much better than the last one. Control, let's try and spark with that gun. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should work on. Curtis was talking about, like, just the idea of like quitting your job and then like starting work on a video game. What if I quit my job and just try to make the most authentic forklift simulator? <laughs> because there's little things with each of these forklift games so far. There's like little nitpicks that I have. Like, the last game didn't have this functionality, where you could pull the power back and forth. The next big forklift did, yeah. And like, this functionality is so important. Like, the ability to just, uh, pull your forks, like, up towards you, because it makes it a lot easier to hold things. Like, it literally even had the actuators on the sides to do that, but they didn't bother adding that as a functionality. To the forklift in that, and forklift load. And that actually would have genuinely helped so much during a lot of those sequences where I was trying to pick shit up. Oh. When you lift things, you want to kind of like tilt them back towards you so that they're more secure up against the tower. Oh, three, place two, level one. Okay. It also helped that they just were kind of just loose barrels every time. Becoming for forklift for certified by Sim Games, yeah. I mean, I assume that some of these are, like, supposed to be for test. I don't know. I guess not. I don't know. I think it, it might also just be, like, that whole rash of, like, here's a simulator for anything. Is this, like, a thing that needs some level of expertise to do? Like, can it be gamified? Does it need some level of expertise? Here's a simulator for it. Am I still caught on this thing? Yeah, I'm not. So I was about to say, I wonder if these are for forklift training, but like... I don't know, there's a, there'd be a better way to send that. Genuinely, one of the ones that I, like, actually test... There was one that I tested just because I wanted to make sure that the controls worked. And it happened to be like the closest to an actual... Like... Pretty spot on forklift simulator. I'm genuinely excited to play that one. Although I put it at the end. Row two, place one, level two. Okay. So 
So, like, the perfect forklift simulator game exists, and I've played it, and I will play it on stream on Thursday. <laughs> Although I haven't played them all yet, I noticed after doing some more Googling, because I was like, oh no, for some reason in likewise super invest in these sim games? Yeah. I'm not as invested, I just thought it would be funny to do this because I noticed that there were a couple forklift games. There's so many weird clicks how they're built. Yeah. And it's actually additionally more fascinating to do this kind of like test of like, oh are these any good? When you're like more familiar with like the exact thing that they're trying to simulate. Like, this one's actually decent. The controls are really janky. Um, collision's weird because of Unity. It's got most of the functionality you would need. Oh, um, I think I'm in. Yeah. And there's one thing that they don't have that, like, I understand, because it's, like, also not a situation you run into all the time. Um, and th the other forklift game I noticed actually does have this functionality. So, one thing that you can also do with forklifts is you can change the distance between the forks. Because sometimes you have pallets that are larger or smaller, right? This doesn't have that. I noticed a lack of that in the controls, but like, that's also like not the most commonplace thing. Am I out of fucking pallets? Where the- am I missing? I'm like missing some. I don't have 32 pallets, because those two are blank. Then, like, sometimes you don't want the level of, abstract of abstraction to be too as complicated. I don't know, there's like some level of like abstraction that you still need to reach. Like, if you put too much realism into your game, then it just becomes too tedious. See, I don't like that there's still a ghost on 112. Ghost pal there. Does you want to make a good simulator game? But it still has to be fun. <laughs> if you put too much tedium into it, then it just stops being fun. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Even if I count those two extra pallets. Also, to be fair, that is... that does say pallets placed, and not pallets placed correctly, so who knows. Also, this is definitely, definitely unstable. Yeah, because I can see there's two ghost pallets over there. There's like 312 and... I don't know, 512? I actually generally don't see those anymore.
thought I had a 5 1. I thought I had 5s over here. I'm so confused. Did I lose some? Somehow. There aren't any over here that I had, that I just haven't seen. Is there just another side of the warehouse that I'm not seeing? That's actually genuinely annoying that I can't find the last couple ones. Yeah, there's a, still a couple, like, ghost outlines for where pallets should go. But I'm out of pallets. I think. so confusing. I'm actually genuinely so close to being finished, but there's no more pallets. Well, let me try picking up these empty ones. It's stupid that these would be empty and we'd put these on the shelf if they were empty, but like, what else am I supposed to do now? Yeah, these don't have any markings on them. I don't think these count as pallets. Actually, what happens if I do put them up, though? <laughs> I'm curious. Let's put one up here, for example. What happens? Oh, you know what would be super fun? Building a game that's like... Oracle of Jenga. <laughs> yeah, that does not count for anything, and it fucking fell. <laughs> well, I hope that's not a problem. I like. Well, This is making it worse. It also doesn't count for anything. No wait, it does have... It did have stats on it. Unless it's like reading the one from the last... 311. No, it's just reading the one I'm looking at. I don't think that empty pallet counts for anything. Where are the extra pallet? What are the pallets that I'm missing? I'm genuinely curious about this. Oh, I'm like pushing. 
backwards now. Hold on. There we go. Now they're both in one one. Oh, that. Why did that count? It went up to thirty when I did that. Where are these secret pallets that I can't find? If I pull that out and put it back in again, will I go up one more? I hope the, the I hope the these empty pallets aren't supposed to be it. Cause I already fucked that one, and that's beyond recovering. Hopefully I can find like a forklift Jenga. There's gotta be something like that out there. I can't be the first person to come up with forklift Jenga. Like as a video game concept, not in real life. That would be so dangerous in real life. Yeah, I can't scan this. It doesn't come up with anything. don't understand. There are two extra pallets, but like, they don't have a location marker or any product on it. Maybe, is there somewhere else I'm supposed to put? Can I go over there? I thought I couldn't earlier, but... Are there just like secret pallets that I don't know about? This is gotta be an invisible wall. And it's not. What the fuck? No, it is. Never mind. And now I'm stuck. Okay, I'm out. Where are the secret pallets? Tell me your secrets, warehouse. Hold on, let me unstuck this one. Because if I if I need this back, I'm gonna be fucked. Actually, I could pull 311 back out, and then uh, then I could probably grab it.
No, don't push it further back. Oh, it's underneath. Come on. Can I get underneath? With the forks? Can. Yes. No. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I've, I've screwed this up. Oh, I got it. I got it. Alright, cool. Alright, we're gonna drop these mystery pallets. Fucking pork clip. Okay, there we go. There we go. My. I'm coming in at a weird angle. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So if we put 311 back, that gives us 32, right? And there's these two mystery pallets, and I don't understand what they're for, because there's no product on these. But these have to be the last two pallets, because there's nothing else around here. Look this up. There's gotta be a way to finish this. There's two. Oh my god. Garfield lasagna party is on. Hold on. How much is Garfield lasagna party on sale for on Steam right now? Oh, it's only 30% off. That's like that's nothing. Uh. Is there supposed to be two empty pallets here? Did my game fuck up? Warehouse simulator forklift climber. Walk through. The numbering system. Nothing about these weird empty pallets. Guides and tips.
You do not need to do anything with empty pallets. Because of this, you may not reach the full goal of third. They just... That's... Annoying. It spawns 32 pallets, but sometimes they're empty, and you just can't do anything with them. So... Technically, I beat it, but not by the... Ah, oh, it's... Very unsatisfying, actually. Look how unsatisfied this man is. Hey! Aim! Thanks for the raid! Um... Our game is bugged. <laughs> our game is bugged. Hold on. It's my bot kinda... So... <laughs> I was actually about to end here because apparently our game is bugged. Because apparently the game can spawn with empty pallets that you can't do anything with, so now I can't finish this. <laughs> no worries. Um, I'm also gonna find a raid target, but yeah, I guess our game is bugged. Game was thinking it's part of the fuck with situation. Yeah. Because I don't know if you can see. On the bottom right it says 30 out of 32, but it spawned with two empty pallets, which is apparently a thing that can happen. But it means that I'm like two pallets short from actually completing the game. And now I just can't do anything. <laughs> I'm like just soft blocked at this point. And it's been about three hours. Um... But good, the good news is, I have like three more forklift games. Plan. Actually, four more forklift games for the rest of this week, because there are two more that I think are just short enough that I have to, like, double up on them, probably. Dealing with a broken forklift IRL so this hits home. Yeah. <laughs> Forklifts can be finicky like that. Alright. Let me find a raid target. Also, hold on, let me introduce myself real quick. For the raiders that, like, don't know who I am. Uh, my name is Liu Bebe. Uh, I'm a Jiangxi VTuber, and I I'm streaming so that I can absorb your energies, so that I have enough energy to find my way home for a proper burial. Uh, I'm also an airplane pilot. Uh, the raid. Well, I guess you saw on the raid prop maybe, and you'll see it on the ending screen that I'm also an airplane pilot. Uh, my artist is Farfin. Uh, do I have... Oh, what is the... I forget what my command for that is. Yes, it is artist. Um, my model is made by Farfin. Um, they are an NSFW artist, so just be warned of that when you click on the link. Um, I'm also hopefully gonna try to make it my own 3D model. Eventually, because I'm starting to learn how to do that. Um, I'm starting to learn how to like make stuff also for uh, VR chat. Uh, I did convert my previous model before I redebuted for VR chat, and I actually really like. It was a struggle because I had to like learn everything from scratch. There was like a lot of plugins that help, and I was like following a tutorial. But I did get finally get it working, and it's actually. It felt really nice to like have my, even if it was my old model, it felt really nice to just like run around as my model in VR chat. Anyway, uh, we're gonna exit to the menu. I think we've got the extent of what we can get out of this game. <laughs> Let me find a raid target. Yeah, I'm excited. I have a, like, different outfit in mind. I was like, how come I can't... I'm not logged into Twi Twitch right Oh. Right, I forgot that the music I was playing was from Shenmue. <laughs> because this game has no music for some reason. Uh, let me open up a normal browser so I can actually see people I'm following. Man, it's so quiet now. 
Am I still not logged in? Hello? Log me in. Authentic warehouse silence, yeah. It was also weird because the game is bugged because, um, like, you can control the audio settings in this menu. Uh, but they had no bearing on the audio, <laughs> on how loud the actual game was. There we go, there's my bot. Takes a second sometimes. Um, House and Fate Morgana. I've never heard of that. What kind of game is that? So how did I get logged? Oh, right, because I cleared my browser history. It's a visual novel? Hmm, interesting. I'll have to look into it later. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Who's on? Who's on right now? Uh, a lot of the south side. Let me see here. Oh, I haven't read Watch it in a while. Looks like they're just playing some, uh... Oh yeah, there was like that patch and like all that new stuff in Final Fantasy. Alright, we're gonna read... I'm assuming that Watch It's playing like the new content that I guess was added in Final Fantasy uh, 14. I guess if you don't want to be spoiled on that, feel free to like head out. Alright, we're gonna raid Watch It. Uh, I guess raid message will just be like forklift raid or something like that. Forklift raid. Alright. Um. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching me struggle with forklifts. Um, that's just pretty much just gonna be the theme of this week, I guess. Uh, again, more forklifts tomorrow. See ya.